Okay. Oh. All the way. So this is us! This is us. This is us. This is us. I mean me. Well, this is us. <laughs> hey, everybody. We wanted to give you a little bit of our background, basically uh, our story. Yeah, so we met in July of 2015 in Minnesota because actually in April we had been in, we had been in Minnesota for a co-write, my sister and I, and we needed something for our drums and at the time he owned a retail store in Minneapolis and our mother actually, who was our momager at the time, yeah. called up the retail store. They ended up talking for a while. Yeah, for a long time. She actually didn't even say anything about the artists that she was working with yeah. uh, being her daughters at all. It was just a conversation of like, our hearts really aligned on what their message was and what they wanted to do for the industry and yeah. for and just for the people that they're able to speak to. Yeah, so they clicked and so fast forward and he sent us some of his videos of like his drumming skills and um, we didn't really think anything about it but um, we actually had a show later on in July in that area and we're like, okay, well if you know if it's a good fit and you can actually play well. So <laughs> let let's maybe try out this one show in your area. Yeah, which is super cool for me because uh, it kind of came full circle. My dad built drums when I was younger and we started off at the Sunshine Festival, which is where we actually ended up playing the first time. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. So we played that and it went really well. I mean, we could go into that whole day, but that's, that'd right. be way too long of a video. Right. So he played really well and then we told him he would be our regional drummer, so that northern area, he would play for us then. But the next time we had him play for us was actually in Florida, so that was completely <laughs> not, that's not, that, not that region. So um, anyway, so that's how he got started drumming with us, and that's how he started like touring with us. Um, meanwhile, I was actually in a relationship. I was in a serious relationship. Had been in that relationship for oh, over three years. Yeah. And then so that was 2015 in June. We played that first show, and then I actually got engaged to this guy in 2000 at the end of 2000. 15. Again, that's like a whole nother story I can like go into in another video. But basically, we just were friends like through all of this touring. I felt like you were more Brooks' friend. You guys are closer sure. in age. Yeah. And so, I mean, I just kind of like did my own. Yeah. Thing. I mean, like it was super platonic. Is that the word where you're yeah. just friends like the entire time? Like we were just friends, yeah. hanging out. Like we're both introverts, so talking to people on the road isn't necessarily our thing. But it was good because we gave each other our own space to just exist and be quiet and not have to talk. But also to be able to like be each other's person if you decide that you do want to talk, you have something to say or something to work through. And uh, we found that our dynamic just clicked really well. Like we would respond in the way that the other person needed just instinctually almost every time. Yeah, and I think we didn't even know that we were, like for me personally, I think my head was in so somewhere else so much yeah. that like I didn't even realize we were friends I guess and I that sounds weird but like he was my bandmate I guess that I got along with but I definitely didn't consider him like I didn't like verbalize that <laughs> yes he's my friend you know yeah. what I mean so that that just goes to show like where we were um and anyway so I had a lot going on in my life and so now so I had gotten engaged December 2015 and then we had there's a bunch of touring and then in the spring, we, um, as a band, we traveled to LA, and then we traveled to Hawaii, and then came back. And there was a lot of just life change. My then, um, my then fiance, he lived in Georgia, and I lived in Nashville, and we lived very completely different lives, and both like good, purposeful lives. But um, there was a point where I realized that our lives were not matching up, and our callings were not the same. Which was yeah, huge. And like yeah. I was gonna have I was going to have to move to Georgia, which isn't like a horrible thing, but I had my roots planted in Nashville and there was so much going on. And with that, you know, I, I just I realized there was a lot of praying, there's a lot of talking between Brooke and I. And again, that's a whole nother video like I can make. Just how I came to the conclusion, the realization that me and this person, we were not meant to be together. We were good people with good callings and good lives, but they did not go together. So anyway, that was a really stressful week. I mean, I had just sent out save the dates to over 200 addresses 
um, for my wedding with that guy. And, and it's funny because I was so excited about having like a send out the save the date cards. He was like going to help me with that. Yeah. And so um, yeah, my sister and I we talked a lot. My mom and I we talked a lot. He happened to be there through the whole like I was talking through all of this, and it really happened within like a week of me. I don't know, like all these thoughts came to my head. People, my mom and my sister were both like you know poking, poking, poking questions like with about this yeah. guy like. Well, what if you're not supposed to be with him, blah, blah, blah. And Adam was actually as the one person. Yeah, as like saying. the best friend, like, and as a guy, just having to kind of know where I was allowed to stand in that situation. And at the time, even still, like, being super platonic, like, just wanting to be friends. Yeah. It was definitely a place where I just wanted to be supportive because if you know Lauren at all, like, she, if she's got a mindset to it, like, she's doing it, yeah. she's doing it, she's doing it. Like, there's no other option. So I wanted to be the person that was really positive yeah. and, like, be able to deliver that side of things. Yeah, so he was saying, hey, like, you're gonna get married, it's gonna be awesome, you're gonna love Georgia, you're gonna be independent, independent, you're gonna just like, you know, he was encouraging me to get married, and you know, since I was so in my mind going to get married, then, you know, he wanted me to be happy. Yeah. So anyway, fast forward, and I, I did end up calling it off, which was like the hardest thing I've ever had to do, and it, it, was, it was emotionally wrecking. But it wasn't long after that, you know, because I was going through so much and doing so much of compare and contrast of the way me and this guy work and like compare and contrast like with what I wanted, you know, to be my my forever fairy tale happy ending. Um, was this is was that going to be me and this guy? But anyway, so I, I did a lot of like breaking down what I needed, what I wanted, what I deserved, what he deserved, all this stuff, and um, so. That being said, not long after I broke it off with this guy, um, basically Adam and I like fell in love. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like really, it was just such a testament to God's timing, like yeah. because there was not like I was, I was trying to convince her to get married and to go through with everything. Out of pure about, friendship. Out of pure friendship, nothing else. Literally up until like she wasn't. I called it off and like immediately. It was like the next day I was leading worship for my church and um, you know around that time that's when I realized that we were more than just bandmates, we were friends. You know, I had, I had admitted that we were friends at, yeah. by that point. Yeah. Um, but so the next day after I called it off with, this, um, with my ex, um, we were in North Carolina and Adam walked in with my family as Brooke and I were on stage to lead worship and I literally felt God like I have never felt him before. Like Adam walked in and then he goes, that's your future. Like, like I can't even, it's just miraculous. It was, it was God, completely, 100%. His timing is the only way it would have worked like that because I'm like all, all in. So if I would have like not been in a relationship, I would have like sabotaged the, our building of just a friendship so that we can be best friends yeah. now, even though we're like in love and are married. Um, we can have that base of friendship that's just yeah. so pure, so solid, is going nowhere because we built it solely off of Yeah, and, and over such a long time. Like, the fact that we had the opportunity to build that friendship in the first place just over tour was a miracle. But, but for us to be able to sustain that and go out to places where we were just on the road and we were going through emotional trials and we were going through yeah. a lot of craziness. I mean, there was a lot and of ministry. spiritual warfare and yeah. like... All of that, we were able to be side by side and be solely friends just because friends. our hearts were set on just being able to foster the relationship that we had and be able to pursue the mission that God had for us on this tour. Yeah, so anyway, like, like you know, we fell in love and we basically started this relationship. I, yeah. I don't know when technically we started dating, you know, I, I say it's like, beginning of May, yeah. um, is what we say, just because, like, that's when I... Yeah, that's when it was revealed to the both of us, yeah. just like, I mean, when she heard that I was her future, like, I was hearing at the same time, the same time. that same thing, you know, it like... Was, it was a lot of, like, tiptoeing, like, well, do you, could you, like, yeah. like, literally, like, kindergarten, like, yes. could you ever be attracted to me was actually the first question yeah. we asked you. It was, it was like we were practically passing notes in elementary school class, like, do you like me? Check yes or no. Because because it was it was wild. I was like, there's no way. Like I just got out of this serious relationship. Yeah. Like, is this God's timing? And just, it just things went so smoothly. And God just it was His timing, not mine. It didn't didn't make sense to me 
for that to happen like that, but it did it in God's timing and His planning, and I'm so thankful because I could not have made it like any better, any smoother. Um, but anyway, that's us. That's us. That's our story. And I'm so <laughs> thankful, and yeah. Yeah, and thankful for you guys. Like seriously, we absolutely love you guys, and your support is so like huge to us to be able to see that you guys care about just literally us being a couple and loving on each other and like making videos because like you're passionate about things and like we want to be able to share that with the community and for you guys to step in and be that community for us has been a blessing on our lives like nothing else so thank you guys and if you like this video yeah give it a thumbs up and yeah. we want to open, uh, open it up for questions if you have any questions just Type them down below, we'll try to answer them. We also are not really doing anything on our old joint account anymore. We're yeah, more on just our own. So Adam.Budnick is his Instagram yes, and mine is, is Lauren.Budnick. And we'd love to talk to you there and we'd love to um, get to know you. So make sure you comment down below, um, give us a thumbs up and subscribe.